Hello YouTube, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, this was actually specially requested by uh, Chihata Koji. Uh, please uh, go visit her channel in the description below. Okay, so anyway, um, she asked me how, how to, um, pardon, pardon me, uh, she asked me how to auto a voice bank. Well, um, right now, as you can see, I've got Seimei's, um, Nanaren Zilkulan, which is actually his, uh, s his, uh, Nanamora, uh, recording, BCV bank. Okay, so I actually have a voice bank around here somewhere. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and add it. Oh, in case you don't know, to add a voice bank that's not already in your uh, voice file under your under C program files, Utau, or wherever you installed your Utau, uh, what you do is you go up here to Tsudu or Tool in the English version. You go here to the second tab and you click this button I don't I don't know how to pronounce that kanji but then you just navigate to where the a file is such as in this one uh, I'm trying to remember what if I unzipped it to the proper place or not oh I did um see I have all of my here on my HANA tech which is actually my external drive um, I have all my Utao voices right here and this is the voice bank I'm going to be ordering with today uh, so I just select the AH file and then I click open and you click this and this will add it to the list here as you can see most of my Utao voices are not in my Utao folder. And yes, that did in fact say Kitsune Shin VCV. I'll show you how to order that in this tutorial as well. Okay, so now that I've got my voice bank loaded, uh, where is it? Oh. Um, okay, so uh, I went in and I reloaded a, um, a different UST and now the voice bank is in fact in the list it's right here and the uh, the UST I loaded was um, was actually made by Peach Byte um, I'm going to add in my flag here which is what I use on like all of my Utah work which I know that's probably not exactly the smartest idea but I've yet to run into any problems and see this particular UST I don't really like it like this part right here I mean it's a great UST and many thanks to Peach Pipe for making it but I gotta go in here and type in resampler.exe instead of the um and see you'll have all this crap come up I don't know why it does that for me I think it's because that this file doesn't have like Japanese aliases and this actually requires hiragana alias so this is a good thing so I can cover this pretty quickly here okay I'm gonna take this bia file see b the bia file let me switch over to my Japanese keyboard here if I just type in bia here and then I go down here to set that's what this button is and then I want to go down here to edit I don't I don't know what this says in English but um, this here is where you actually go in and you will auto the file okay so now let's double click this and hear what it sounds like gotta wait for it to build an FRQ file it's doing that right there Uh, waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, so now that it's built the FRQ file, it did that while uh, I went away. <laughs> um, just double click on this P right here to hear the sound. Now, what you want to do is you want to take this red line, which it'll have a bunch of Japanese characters and then top of note. 
you want the top of the note to be right at the end of the consonant and right at the beginning of the vowel. Now your overlap, if, if there was excess space over here, I would use this, the uh, top of data. I would use it, and as you can see, it shifted my notes over, my, my lines over here. That's not good. Uh, this pink region here, I don't know what it says, but um, you want it to encapsulate the entire consonant so you can tell which one's the con which part's the consonant and where the vowel starts. Uh, the vowel starts right here, and you don't want your samples to be too long, but you, and you don't want to have because when you record, you will fade off. You will always fade off. Nobody's able to just go yeah and just stop. You don't think about that when you're recording. And even then, I had a, um, I had a uh, fade off right there. If I was looking at this through a sound wave file. Anyway, uh, g getting back on topic here. Um, basically, what you want to do is you want to put this red line here between the consonant and the vowel. You want to take this pink region and drag it over the begin over to the beginning of the. Um, vowel yeah just over the beginning and you want to encapsulate that consonant completely now I know what you're probably thinking right now what if I want to auto a, va a vowel sound well that is actually one of the simpler things to do basically you've got your ah sound I know you can't hear it but it's ah um, so you've got your ah sound here. You want to take the top of the note and drag it out to be about 35 or so. And then you, you always want to put your overlap halfway between the beginning of the blue region, like say right here. You want it halfway between that or the beginning of the file and this red line here. Your pre-utterance needs to come just just short I mean like it, where this is set at 35 right here make this 50 it, it just needs to be about just enough for the pre utterance which is actually what that is I just now remembered that that's pre utterance um, and then you've got your end of the data here which the the part in white here is what's going to be looped through Utau. okay so basically that's it. That's your basic uh, odoing tutorial for CV banks. Now, when speaking about VCV banks, let me just not save this and go open up a VCV. Um, ah, perfect. Namineritsu's um, Mad Apple is a perfect example of a of a UST that requires a very, very, very good Odo. So I'm going to go here to Shin's bank. He doesn't have a very good Odo. I'm just going to tell you this. Um, and this Na here. It See, when I recorded it, I was like, Nah. I mean, it wasn't just that. It was actually like seven different sounds strung all together because that's what a VCV bank is recorded like. See, there it is. Na na ni na nu na na. Not not that fast either. <laughs> um, but what what I would do, it it always it already comes pre-rendered like this, and it is so piss easy to auto these. It it's like it's just tedious because I mean you can just see how many sounds this bank has. Oh my gosh. But uh, this EG right here, it's way off. It's supposed to go, it's supposed to go, um, it's supposed to go, um, EG or something like that. So your P, your P button, which I guess stands for play, um, is going to come in huge handy right here. Now, I I know that the waveforms are in their correct positions, so we've got G, 
and then our second gi, which is where we need to be, e gi. You can keep up, keep track of this using using your wave file. You use gi, e gi, e gu, e gya, u gya, yeah, a gya, and so on. And see, it even does that for you. Um, so that pretty much does it for this photoing tutorial. This is Edgy, the voicer of Seimei Kyokune, and I will see you next time.